New information has been released about a deadly overnight shooting in New Kensington. Thank you for joining us. I'm Erica Stanish. We now know 31 year old James Hayes is the victim. Our Krista Rose has been following this story throughout the day and he has the latest. A difficult night and an even worse morning as one person was shot dead in this parking lot outside this apartment complex in New Kensington. A barrage of shots rang out around 1040 p.m. last night in the parking lot of the Kensington Arms Apartments. Donna Horst, who lives in the building, says she heard the shots. I can't say it was boom, 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 but it was a straight long boom. Um, and then it quit and then it started again just a little bit. Um, and then the next thing I heard was run, run, run. Horse says she took cover in her apartment until police arrived. Once police were on the scene, they found one male victim, 31-year-old New Kensington resident James Michael Hayes, dead in the parking lot. Bullets from the shooting not only hit the victim, but a nearby office and several parked cars. One of those cars was brand new, having just been purchased by apartment resident Morgan Brown on Friday. I was sleeping and they accidentally shot my car during the shooting. It's going to be taken in as evidence and I put in a claim and I will be getting in contact with Carvana too and see how to proceed from here. For now, Brown is left without a vehicle but is more concerned that something like this could happen so close to home. It definitely is mind-blowing. It sort of just feels really surreal. All the neighbors we spoke to in the area are clearly upset by the senseless violence. Detectives are still working to solve the crime, and the investigation is ongoing. But for residents like Horst, she says as soon as her lease is up, she's moving. I've never known New Ken to be like this. I've been in New Ken for many years, um, probably 40, and I've never known it to be this bad. Of course, we will keep you up to date both on air and online as more information becomes available to us. But for now, reporting in New Kensington, Krista Rose, KDKA News.